Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna teach you how to add the last refresh date in your Power BI reports. Before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. Now, let's do this. If you have been playing with Power BI for a while, your end users might have requested to add a last refresh date in your Power BI reports. And today, guys, I'm going to teach you two different ways, okay? Like it says right here, we're going to create a card visual with the last refresh date in CST, Central Standard Time, and publish the report to Power BI service. Two different ways, like I said before. So we're gonna use the following function in Power Query, and also we're gonna use a website that's giving you an API. Let's get started with the first one. The first thing that we wanna do here is the following. So we're gonna go over here, get data, blank query. So this opens the Power Query user interface, if you go back to the Power BI report, so we're gonna copy this function, okay? Copy and paste it here. Remember here, Power Query is case sensitive. So you have to be very careful here. So now let's approve these changes and let's see what happens. So the next step is to transform this list into a table. So let's do that to table here. Now you have a column here and we can rename this if we want. So how about the time, we can do that. Next step, we can duplicate this, duplicate this again, and then hit this option. We get about date here, and here we get about. So now you can see that we just split it, the date time column into two different components, right? The date component, it's right here, this column, and we also have the time component here. Another good practice here is to rename this table, we're gonna call this daytime, and then we are good to go. So close and apply, and let's see what happens. Perfect, as you can see, if you go over here, we have this new table that we just created. It has three different columns, you might remember this. Uh, let's spend this, and then you can go over here, data view, select again this table, and there it is. We have the daytime column, the date piece, and also the time piece. So it's working perfectly fine. So the next step here is to drag this column into this card. Now you can see the refresh date right here. You can hit refresh here and let's see what happens. Check this out. So it's working perfectly fine. Now you will see this is changing. Uh-huh, it changed from 921 to 923. So a different way to do this is by using, like I said, a website that we have right here, the worldtimeapi.org website. So we can do that as well. This is actually my favorite option, and I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons for that. So let's open the website real quick. Let's copy this into Google. So this is the website, like it says right here, the World Time API is a simple web service which returns the current local time for a given time zone as either plain text or a JSON file. Once we are here, let's hit examples. And the next step here is to grab this option. Okay, but let's go step by step. Okay, let's go back to the Power BI report real quick. So we're gonna copy this option right here because we care about the time zone, control C. And let's go over here, get data from web, copy this and paste it here. Hit okay, check this out. So this is the Power Query window. So once we are here, so now let's look for a city in the United States, I have a central standard time. I did some investigation and guess what? Chicago has a central standard time. What I'm gonna do here is hit Chicago and we're gonna add here CD if we want. So what type of role has this table? So basically with this table, you will figure out which city has the time zone that you're looking for. For me, particularly, I care about a central standard time and Chicago has that specific time zone. So that's why I'm just selecting Chicago here. So once we are done here, uh, let's leave this at time zone since we are good here. Let's close and apply. 
if we go back to the website real quick, here you can see, because we want to have a path for that specific city, Control C, go back to Power BI, and then we're going to do the same thing here, Web, Control V, and guess what? So we're going to replace Europe with America. So you might remember the previous table, Chicago is part of America, and then instead of London, so we're going to replace this with Chicago. So now you can see why we, so now you can see the importance of the previous table, right? Because we care about America and Chicago. Hit OK and let's see what happens. And of course, it's also right here. I already put the example right there. Okay, so now we have Power Query here again. And here, what we want to do is the following. Uh, we're going to look for time zone. And also the other field that we care about is about this one right here, daytime. So hold down control, select those two columns, and then right click, remove all the columns. And here, you can rename this if you want, or just leave it as is for now. Chicago is fine, close and apply. And let's see what happens. So if we go over here again, so you now can see this new table called Chicago. Let's create another, let's duplicate this card real quick. Control C, Control V. Remember, this is just for the example. And here, what we can do is, instead of daytime, so we're going to be referencing the Chicago table. This one right here, daytime. Boom. So now this is working perfectly fine. So let's refresh this and let's see what happens. It's refreshing. Boom. So you can see that both tables were refreshed. And there is a small difference there in terms of seconds, but you get the point. So the next step here is to upload this to Power BI service. Let's save this first and then publish it to Power BI service. Select our workspace and then it's thinking. Got it. Let's go to Power BI service. Check this out. So now you can see there, those dates are there. It's working perfectly fine. If you ask me which option would you pick, I would personally pick option two because sometimes in Power BI service, the default time zone is UTC. So what happens is when we publish this report to the cloud to Power BI service, so these dates change, change to UTC because that's the default time zone. But when we use the second option, so we are being specific about that city. In a particular case, it was Chicago, and it definitely has the central standard time. There you have it, my friends, two different options to add the last refresh date in Power BI. Please let me know which option do you prefer, and also check these tutorials out. There is really good information there. Thank you guys, and see you next time.